vectors and we've got collinearity. It's quite a tough vectors question this one. Um, starts off nice enough but then gets a little bit tricky. Before we do anything let's get that diagram labelled up with the information it gives us and put some vectors on. What we have got here is we have got given to us vector O to A, that's given, and we have vector O to B given, and we are asked to find Got to get to C. I'm going to deal with that vector. Let me label those. You'll see why in a minute. We're told that this is vector A. We're told that this is vector B. And we're also told that D is a midpoint. So we've got B over 2 there. So we've got vector B split in half by D. And I'm told that AB is divided in the ratio 2 to 3. Now, if I divide in a ratio 2 to 3, then I'm dividing into fifths. And if I look at the vector A to B to start with, to get from A to B, then I could go A to O plus um, O to B, both of which I know. A to O back down A along B, and so A to B, let me just turn that around to make it a little bit neater. A to B is B minus A. But that, of course, is split in this ratio, 2 to 3. So 2 to 3 split into fifths. This must be 2 of those fifths. And this must be 3 of those fifths. And we have those. This should allow us now, I think, to give the vector... O to C. O to C. Let's go O to A and then let's go A to C. Corp A and then two fifths of B minus A. Tidy this up. A minus two fifths of A, three fifths of A, and two fifths of B. There's our O to C. Now we're told that K sits along A to D, but it divides in a similar sort of way that we divide A to B, but rather than 2 to 3, we're given the ratio lambda to 3. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to split it and label it in a similar sort of way. So I'm looking to split and label this here. Now the split is lambda to 3. In the same way I got 2 fifths here, I'm going to say that this is lambda over lambda plus 3, that's the fraction, and this is 3 over lambda plus 3, and it's a fraction of the vector AD. So a fraction of the vector AD. And I think I'm just going to decide what AD is. AD I can write as A to O plus O to D, and A to O I know is minus A, and O to D D is the midpoint, so that's B over 2, and so A to D, B over 2, minus A. I'll use that in a second. Find the value of lambda. Now, what I've got here is I've got collinearity. I've got O to K is in the same line as O to C. Now, something about collinear vectors, starting from the same point. If I have a vector, let me imagine I've got a vector 3a plus 2b. Then I know that, starting from the same point, I would stay in the same line if I went 6a plus, let's say, 4b. I'd know I'd be OK if I went, let's say, um, 30a plus 20b. 
or indeed if I went three fifths of A plus two fifths of B. These vectors would all be parallel. I know this, um, they would all be collinear starting from the same point. I know this because of the proportions of A and B that I see in these vectors. Every time I look at those, I can see that the B to A, let's see, 2 to 3, 4 to 6, I see the same thing there, I see the same proportions, 20 to 30, 2 fifths divided 3 fifths. All of these things give me the same thing, 2 thirds there, cancel that down, I see 2 thirds there, cancel that down, I see 2 thirds there and cancel the fives and I see two thirds there. So I, I see the same proportions every time if I've got collinear vectors. So what I'm expecting to see, if I go to O to K, I'm expecting to see the same mix of A's and B's as if I go O to C. Now I've already got O to C. So what I want to do is I want to look now at O to K. O to K I would suggest that what we do is we go O to A first because we know it and then we go from A to K which will be O to A plus lambda over lambda plus 3 that fraction of A to D and A to D I worked out already over here so let me put all this together In terms of a's, I will get 1a from this, minus this lambda, lambda plus 3. And in terms of b's, I will get my lambda, lambda plus 3. And divided by 2, so I'll multiply it by 2. So that's my proportion of b's. Let me just make that, if I make this into a single fraction, uh, lambda plus 3 minus lambda on the top, common denominator of lambda plus 3, that's how many a's I have, and lambda over 2 lambda plus 3, that's how many b's that I have. Now remember what we were saying about the, about the split here, if this vector is in the same line as this vector, the mix of A's and B's will be exactly the same. So let me just give myself a little bit more room here. Let's get rid of that. What I'm looking for then is the split. In O to C, I see two fifths over three fifths as my mix of A's and B's. And in the O to K, I should see the same mix of A's and B's. I've got lambda over 2 lambda plus 3. And the B's that I see are 3 over lambda plus 3. If I multiply top and bottom of this fraction by 5, I'll see 2 over 3. And using a similar, slightly more awkward, but a similar trick here, I'm going to multiply top and bottom of this fraction by 2 lambda plus 3 to give me lambda on the top and 6 on the bottom. This should tell me 2 times 6 is 12 divide by 3, this should tell me that lambda has to be 4. And that is my answer to lambda. And that's done.